Good afternoon, YouTube. So in this video, I want to do a review on exactly how much weight we have taken out of the DA. We're setting the DA right now. We're in the garage. It's raining outside. So this video is going to be pretty short and to the point. I actually have everything written down on this paper so far and the weights that I've removed out of the car. So we'll start off with interior stuff and then we'll make it to the metal and then we'll make it to the weight bar in the front and sway bars and everything else. So first off, uh, the door panels were 14 pounds. The passenger seat was about 38 pounds. Um, the back seat, the top half was 20 pounds and the bottom half was about nine pounds. Um, the dash, which is the carcass of the dash with the metal supports underneath, um, weighed 21 pounds. The under dash metal, which are the brackets that go up over that support the radio and all that kind of stuff, um, that came up to about 10 pounds fully removed. Uh, the blower box and heater core assembly was 23 pounds. And then all of the plastic panels, so door panel, like plastic clips, the plastic clips that go down on the dash that cover the ECU, the panels in the rear, the rear panel, the headliner stuff, all the plastic that goes in this car was 91 and a half pounds. Um, the carpet weighed 14 pounds. That's with the insulation and everything on it and all the dirt and everything from the years of the car. Um, the headliner itself, which is like plastic linoleum type deal, uh, weighed five pounds. The radio with the wiring and everything was three pounds. Um, all the AC ducts, which are all ran under the dash for your heater control and everything like that, were another three pounds. And then, as you saw in the first video I made, the uh, engine bay cleanup was about 42 and a half pounds. The rear sway bar was 13 pounds with the brackets and everything. The sunroof assembly was 37 and a half pounds. Um, in the one video you saw me with the dry ice, that was 10 pounds of weight I took out of the car with just sound editing off the floor. The door bars from the inside of the doors when I was gutting the doors were nine pounds each. So that's a total of 18 pounds. Um, the window motor assemblies were four and a half pounds each. So that's in total of eight pounds more. <clears throat> On the DAs, the mirrors are actually really heavy. I didn't expect them to weigh so much. The mirrors weigh five pounds a piece, which is crazy. Um, the header and the exhaust, as I mentioned in the video when I made the um, hood exit header, the exhaust together was around 30 pounds. The top of the header, was about nine pounds and the bottom of the header with the two mufflers uh, hooked to it was about 22, 21 pounds. Um, the front sway bar with the brackets weighed up to another six pounds. Um, the factory front subframe with the tie bars or traction bars from OEM was another 29 pounds. I did replace that with a explicit speed traction bar setup so now I have an adjustable front. Um, the front crash bar, I literally cut it last night, didn't do a video of it, uh, I basically cut the ends off of it just so it had enough support to hold the bumper up and then I used the two brackets behind it so that the bumper still looks from the outside of the car, it doesn't look like it's cut at all. Uh, I cut 17 pounds out of the bumper support. Um, if you were wondering about all the metal we had in that one video in the trash can, that came up to a total of 98 pounds. So once we got the interior panels out that weighed almost 90 something pounds, uh, actually they weighed 92 pounds or 91 and a half pounds, and we took all that metal out of the car, that was another 90 something pounds. So with this being said, um, I forgot the seatbelts. So seatbelts, top buckle, low, lower seatbelt, and all of that together was a total of 26 pounds out of the car and just seatbelts, which is crazy. Um, this gives us a grand total of about 540 pounds. We took a few pounds of bolts out of the car. There's a lot of weight we've taken out, but the total so far with everything we've removed from when we got the car until now is around 540 pounds. I still want to buy a Kirky racing seat and I know the driver's seat is, you know, 35 pounds. So I know with a Kirky, I can take at least another 10, 15 pounds out. Like I said, I still haven't cut the floor and I still don't have Lexan. I know the car will get to 1850 or 17 something, maybe. Um, we're gonna see what we can do, but 
as an overview, like I said, we've taken 540 pounds out of this car. It's absolutely crazy. Have a great day. If you like the content, like and subscribe. Press the little bell icon to get notifications. And hopefully soon we get our, our windshield so we can take it to the track. I made the hood X that the car feels a lot better now. So I'm assuming that that factory dented header, if you saw on Instagram, I posted a picture of it. It was really crushed. was really killing the car. Um, hopefully the car is making like 120 horsepower now. I fixed the speedometer. So we have a... Um, we can set two-step uh, when the DA is that uses a mechanical line from the transmission to the cluster and then the cluster sends an electronic signal to the ECU in the dyno video you saw we tried to set two-step on the ECU and of course it wouldn't work because we had no speed um, I also fixed the wiring for the headlights and taillights I can turn on my park lights and I have front bumper lights and I actually have all four working taillights um, hopefully we can pass tech at the track there should be no issues the car isn't fast yet uh, it's probably going to run mid 14s on motor. Um, I have got brakes for it. I'm waiting on brake lines. I did get a clutch for it. Uh, I do have my direct port nitrous kit setting here. And soon we're going to put pistons in it. We're going to make it 11 half to 1. And we're also going to put the P8R head on it. Uh, like I said, this is a super budget build. There's no plans on spending more than $2,500 on this whole car. Um, that's basically it for now. Like I said, like and subscribe. Thank you to Honda Vlogs for the shout out. And I guess really hope you like the content. Have a great day.